Hello and welcome back. We are planning a big action. <laughs> we have no idea. Okay, it's gonna be the next mission. Hidden factory target, six days. Until then, we gotta get ready. So I'm thinking, uh, the big plan is just to get the armor and somehow get money for the armor. And that's gonna help. Because it seems like the early part of the game is easy. But this is XCOM. It's not gonna stay easy, right? Uh, so we have a choice between two missions. As you know, our presence in City 31 is precarious. The City Council is divided on Reclamation's future. Come on, so we're we the only one. we came here to do. Secure dangerous technology from those who seek to harm City 31. As Reclamation confirms intel on these bread and butter missions... Do I look like a care? I just come here to kick it. ass. No, no, no. I, I don't care about the PR talk, okay? One targeting system for the weapons. And two unrest in Old Town District. Also, not only minus two, but also we are preventing uh, the increasing unrest. Here, so this would be a total of minus, uh, total of difference of four. This would go up to five. And this, two days toward assembly project, enhanced armor. Uh, do I care about that though? I mean, I care, but at the same time, does it matter as much? I don't think it matters as much. Weapon mod. I mean, do, do I care about the targeting system? I suppose I do now, because I don't have weapon mods, and I do have the the slot for them. So, it's tough, but I, th this seems better. It, it is a tough call, either way, but none of them seem that great. And this is gonna give me much of a breeding room, a uh, bit more of a breeding room. Uh, because if I just keep choosing uh, missions that reduce the... Pff, whatever the fuck this is. Unrest. Uh, by a great amount. Then I will keep having a freedom of choice. In the future but if i just keep choosing like a slightly slightly better options uh ignoring unrest then i would just be just forced to make choices and then i will be i won't have any choices so yeah we gotta just go for this essential personnel looks good reclamation training spent a lot of time on hostage situations so you know how it goes focus on any hostile who threatens your vip and get them to safety as soon as you can uh, what is the clip size of the shotgun? So it's clip size of three. So this seems like an okay thing for it. Breach item. Uh, let's make items available. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm not sure we want that. I guess we can go with the medikit. Anything else we got? Uh, yeah, let's go with breaching charge, and I guess that's it. He's the tank. He goes in, punches people. I don't like him. And yeah, we have that. That's it. A tank round. I mean, that's that's good for uh, Godmother too. Currently, I'm not overly concerned with not getting enough captures. It does seem like uh, Virgil's ability uh, that. People don't die is not as good as I, as I believe, but it is just as good for guaranteeing intel as I believe. So I guess that's that's least nice. Not like I really struggled with that, but now nah, I don't even have to consider it. So that uh, trank dart thingy or trank bullet, uh, it's gonna be probably replaced damn soon because we don't need that. <laughs> Friendly VIP ahead. Check your fire. Oh, okay. Oh shit, what we got here? Four ways. Surprise! Uh, successful shots on enemies during breach was done. So that that's kind of pointless uh, for someone. All units entering here get 25 depends for one round. So that should be the melee guy, right? Uh... Pff. Successful shots on enemy during breach for stun. Okay, so. Let's play like that. 
So you probably don't want more than one melee guy because right now you would be well, you wouldn't be able to take advantage of the bonuses. Let's let's go. It's two encounters, so we can't just use everything in the first go. That seems pretty okay. Well, the damage is good. Only one's permission. There are not that many enemies here. Okay, let's just do regular shot. Fearless advance. So he deals minimum 4 damage, but potentially 5. Trooper. I don't know. Let's try to punch the bruiser. 66. Oh, an adder in the back. Unfortunately, our chance to hit is pretty bad. No! Yeah, I'll just try to shoot at him. So, melee might take him out. Oh, that's not great. So, we got a shotgun maneuver here, however, it's not enough to get the trooper. I mean, we can do a subdue on, on him, although that's not really great. And we have to come in here. The dominator is in the corner. Not sure what to do. Coming in here alone is a bit risky. I mean, we can kill that guy, but do we want to focus on that? I'm actually a little tempted to just set up an overwatch and shoot at them if they come in. Knocking down hostiles. Wow. <laughs> no! Don't take out the melee guy. That's the only thing he can do. Ceasefire grenade. Let's throw it in. Throwing grenade! Sure. Uh, just go for a punch because we have to. Wait, how much damage is that? Four to five. We can't even kill the other in the back. I suppose this might be a better uh, character in lower difficulties, where you can just run him and get the other at least. But I find him really hard to justify. Splintering. In this scenario. Okay, let's parry. Nice. Uh, so we can go for a heal. Let the high tech spray do its work. As long as it can keep up. Hmm. We can go for guaranteed three damage, or. Seventy percent chance to do any damage, and only one out of three chance to kill it. 
Mm -hmm. It's tricky. I definitely want to put down some damage. I'd rather just do some guaranteed damage. Even though it's a little awkward. You weren't supposed to hit back. No! That's bad! That's why he's playing passive. Resist! Fuck. Oh my god, even the Overwatch is on. Can I just stun him? Throw flashbang at him, whatever. This needs to... Wait. I'm still gonna throw the flashbang because... If he missed that 14%... He might just die to the shotgun. Okay, that that stops the mind control. That's actually very good news. Now we can uh, just get rid of the soldier here. Making go to sleep. Sleepy time for you. And Godmother, uh, having learned from her lesson, says, "Fuck that! I'm going in." Well, the soldier is at least sleeping now. Shifting. It's not a terrible shot. Okay, he's still stunned. And keep in mind, we gotta go and deal with that. Very soon. Probably now. <laughs> right now. So go in, uh, deal with this chest, Hunterbird cash, and we can take a shot at the soldier. Not execution! Come on. I know. That's bad. Unfortunately, we can't even go for the subdue. We have to go for a crippling blow. I don't like that. Fracturing. At least he can go like... If he ever get, go, go, gets to the point where he can go for like double punch. I mean, I can get more on board with that. But like, come on. You gotta give me something. This is This is not good enough. I suppose when, when he got the ability to at least tank, I mean, that helps, but it still doesn't draw aggro. Hmm. Did I just punch the Legionnaire a little bit? Let's do that. I mean, Terminal kind of does the, the same, plus she also heals. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage here. Do I wanna take the Dominator out of the fight? Your mind falls Maybe. away. Oh, he resisted it. Oh, that's nice. Enemies. I'm taking a lot of shots. So that's next. I'm thinking maybe I should help out with that. I'm taking way too many shots here. I 
we gotta limit that. And now we have Zephyr, who might want to deal with the Dominator. That wouldn't be the worst idea. Demolishing. Come on, do a five. He's unconscious. Or dead. Okay. And last, let's go for heal. Ah, uh, right. Well, God, uh, there does have a higher chance to get critically hit. I suppose. Come on. Ah. Uh, I can take a shot from there. Not a great shot. No, just don't die. Closing in. Wow. Six critical hit on terminal. I'm not sure what to do. Let's reload your gun. Reloaded. Uh, let's overwatch. On overwatch. I won't get in your way. Actually, he's useless. Uh, let's prepare. Uh, let's do a heal on terminal. Might as well go for the shot. But we're probably gonna finish him off with the punch. Alright, I'm just uh, preparing for the next encounter. Subdued the hostile. Because we're not gonna heal up automatically. That was a pretty hard one. Delayed snare. Last unit through this entrance will be rooted for one round. Helping hand. Last unit through this entrance will receive an extra action point. Okay. So, we might as well start with Zephyr into Godmother. I think the fact that I, I got rid of the tank guy uh, is a big deal. Uh, maybe it should be like Verge, Godmother, Terminal. And let's breach. It's fine if uh, terminal is uh, snared. Go, go, go! Oh my God! Why not just stay outside? We just rush in. <laughs> fearless advance. I mean, yeah, it's pretty fucking fearless. But both of them are gonna act. It's completely useless because he's only gonna act after this round is over. Oh man. I guess it's more likely that the, the bruiser guy stays on. Oh man. Okay, I, I just want to take the shot, right? 3 to 5. I mean, we have a... Okay, let's take this shot. What? Okay, this is more likely to kill the snake. Wow, you're the worst now. Yeah, I want the snake dead. At least limit one source of damage. That sucks. But he's gonna get punched in the face at least. I see the VIP. Bring that hostage home. Okay. We can move up the healer in the turn order. Yeah, let's team up. Also. Now, do I want to punch this guy pretty hard in the face? Or... What the fuck? No, 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 no. The game is stepping it up. Putting in stronger and stronger guys. That's why we need better guns and, and armor and shit like that. <laughs> no. I'm not ready, okay? I, I was joking when I said it was easy, okay? Don't, 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 no, don't step it up yet. Oh, man. Okay, we gotta deal with this bruiser. I guess? I'm not sure where I want him. 
Let's punch him over there. Rooted is useless. Come on. If it was... Uh, <laughs> at least done. Like, okay. I like that. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty bad. You gotta heal yourself. Uh, I can only shoot at this guy. All right. Oh, he's sleeping I now. Unconscious. It. That's how unconscious looks like. Oh no, that's bad. Oh, I got lucky. Oh. Um. My mind over yours. Nice. I don't know what that guy does, but I'm not too keen to find out right now. Mm, yeah, I would like to kill the Legionnaire. Oh no. Target spotted. Nice! He was not completely useless. So... Yeah, Godmother does have a health pack. Do we need to rush in to save the VIP? Or is the VIP just fine? I mean, come on. he was They were guarding him forever. They're not gonna just kill him right now. Right? Okay. Which is that guy? So he's gonna act. But he has a lot of HP. And that's pretty unlikely. And I will get to do much. That's, that's a pretty decent spot, though. Faceless will act, but that doesn't matter. I mean, there's no chance of critting, but it's still a decent shot. One more damage and we're good. You stunned. I was kind of hoping he's going to mind control some of them. Okay, Zephyr. Oh, we can finish off the Legionnaire. <laughs> Not sure what to do with you. So, we're going to have the healer. Uh, probably take a shot at the Legionnaire. So, this guy needs to die. This trooper is going to act. The Faceless is going to act, and the Paladins is going to act that last, so that doesn't matter too much. It might make the most sense, although she doesn't see too much, and she will definitely use the heal. What I don't know is what Terminal sees. She does see the Legionnaire, and most likely can kill it. So I guess we want to kill the Paladin. And we can go for a punch on the Faceless. We can even go for a punch on the Trooper. That might make more sense. If we go for a stun, or at least a Disorient, or whatever, that could be nice. Okay, stun is good. And we can go for a parry. So he's a bit of a distraction. Yeah, we're gonna heal Verge. He definitely needs to pick up more HP. Nice. Another unconscious guy. Hmm. That guy is stunned. The Faceless is stunned, but I think he's about to recover. And the Paladin is stunned too. Uh, can I just punch the Paladin? I mean, that's a guaranteed way to deal with him. Hostile is under arrest. I'm thinking picking up suppressive fire with Godmother would have been uh, better. I, I just... It's, it's just more active. 
We shall see, but... What I would like is is you have the choice between like switching between them. So you don't like one, you can just switch, you know. I'm not even saying like make it so that it has no cost at all. But like, you know, you, you spend like one turn away from the action. You know, just one 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 day at home. Not even in a training facility, but you don't, you can't go on the mission. You know, you just you just do something at home maybe it can be done in the training facility but i think that would be a little bit too expensive changing position for something that you, you would just try out honestly just like make it free to just switch between stuff and then that's fine oh no zephyr use your parry oh shit he's not the one Zephyr, come on, tank it. Fuck yeah. You wanna tango with me? I'll punch you in the face. Smashing extremity. What the fuck are you doing? Well, rooting the melee target is not, not the best. I'll tell you. Okay. Um, just heal yourself. And, uh... I guess go Headed closer to the VIP. Swift and steady. If they want to be tricky about it, then the VIP should be a faceless. Wait, what? I can only subdue him. Uh, but it's not who I should be concerned about, but the guy in the back. On the way. You'll make it. Reinforcements are imminent. That makes me believe I should have activated this guy once the area was clear. So where the fuck are we going? Okay. So this is where I'm taking him. It's not guaranteed. It's tough. I definitely don't want to miss this. Okay, I'll just punch him. Arrested the target. <laughs> wow. We totally arrested him. Uh what are you doing? I mean he can go away right now, but She cannot go away right now. Oh, that's not what I want. I guess we can go for a heal. Need a little help? Thank you. Come on. Hostage, you go away. Then we they fucking go away as well. Very quickly. Hopefully without fighting anyone. That's not gonna work. Oh, oh, however, it doesn't seem like they're that strong. So he cannot run away. Okay. So he will act soon. So that's why we're gonna stun him. Only for one round. That's not great. Uh, let's just try to make sure that we can go away next round. So we can go away next round, no, not a problem. Uh, we can hit this guy in the ass. In the meantime. Why rooted? Why it has to be random? That's no fun. Like in that setting. Liquidating. Stun of one is completely useless, but stun of two is pretty good. Okay. I just wanna kill the bruiser. And 
and uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Rip. Eradicate. Yeah. Wow. Uh, can we just go the fuck away? Uh, Godmother will act last, and we'll get hit by the trooper. I don't think it's gonna matter. But it might. How else do I deal with this? Do I just kill them? And go for a heal? He'll be fine. I stall for one more turn. I think that's that's okay. Not quite what I planned on, but sure. Oh man. Oh, actually, I can make one of them berserk. Let's make the bruiser berserk. Go on. Lash out. Fight amongst yourselves. He's the trooper. Obliterating. And then we finish off the trooper. Or the bruiser. But this should be the trooper. Yeah, he just runs so fucking fast. But he's, he does no damage. Oh my fucking god. Unbelievable. I hate this guy. Really good at punching people and doing no damage. Wow. If everyone had 4 HP, he would be god. <laughs> oh my god. I hate this guy. I guess we can Fracturing. go in for a punch. Then run away. Perfect. He's only rooted, right? Okay, well, I don't plan on going in close. So let's just go for a regular hit. I just want to get the fuck out of this mission. No. Oh my god, this actually messed up my escape even more. Because they just jump into my turn order. Protecting. Okay, I should have just left next uh, previous turn. This thing is nearly empty. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going away. Everybody, can can you go away though? I know I know you have no actions right now, but can you can you still go away? All right, let's dash Move and go. It. Cover me. I'm definitely not fighting any more guys here. I'm a little to location. worried about sending the me medic away first. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he needed to survive no that. Ammunition. I can and now make he's it. good. Don't stray too far. As long as they don't go down, it's fine. Forming up. Oh no. We have to st stick with the strategy. Okay, Godmother, just don't More get crit hit. You gotta be fine. Wow. <laughs> Low ammo. Wow. No, 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 no! Just evac. <laughs> That's excellent rating. Wow. I feel like. <laughs> Maybe the previous rating wasn't as good as I thought. Look at how red I was. <laughs> okay. That is excellent too. I mean, in this in this world everything is excellent, except except if you go down. That's that's only great. That's amazing. If you come back dead, that's perfect. Excellent. If you don't come back at all, you know, that was still good. 
apparently. Okay, I mean, it was still like the, the better mission. Background on the insurgents behind the mayor's attack. Just after the war, City 31 reached out to nearby resistance networks to help keep the peace. The insurgents belonged to a cell in the Shrike network. That network provided security before 31 PD existed. They left when the Global Council cleared aliens and hybrids for return to society. Hmm, couldn't stomach protecting the people they fought in the war? Seems that way. Since 2037, they've kept to the outskirts and swapped war stories at their watering holes. Sounds like a dead end. Maybe. Something drove them to carry out this attack. Keep your eyes open. Alright, I'll kill them if that's, that's the mission. I'll kill them. That's what you want? A large crowd consisting God damn it. of mutons protested the continued closure of the starport today, insisting on access to the facility. Artisan Glorva of New the supply Ship items. had this to say. Those starships okay. are sacred know territory. That. To keep us from Field. them is yet another cruelty. What I mean, do we have okay. learned to expect? Field Jacinda team Schultz abilities? Okay, we gotta go for some promotions! Is not Promote agent? Can you secure. be a little better General than you are right now? Godmother takes a shot at an enemy, forcing them to reposition. The shot does no damage, one turn cooldown. Interesting. I might value this. We might flush someone out of cover. This seems okay. Of course, it, this takes uh, uh, ammo. If Godmother is unimpaired and takes enough damage to begin bleeding out, wow. They are instead reduced to 1 HP and given uh, a turn immediately after the current turn. Use one use per mission. I don't like this. And I'll, I'll explain why. Because I did pick this option for the medic. And I'm 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 doubting myself. I, I think it would be more fun if I had access to the cover fire and it might be better. Although I do like the fact that if my medic ever goes down, we're still okay. But that's it. If I have a medic, I don't think I need the last stand. I mean, this would still help, but like, this is pretty desperate. I mean, ultimately, this would also give him, uh, give her the ability to just be the last in every situation, last to extract, and she still has one HP and still fine. I mean, this helps, but as long as I keep her safe, I mean, Flush is probably better. So I'm gonna go with Flush here. You can remove or change abilities. Are you sure you want to learn Flush? I would like the option to change abilities, though. Because you're making me choose based on very vague descriptions permanently. And, yeah... Super vague descriptions. Like, it, at this time, it's okay. Like, even right now, like, Godmother takes a shot at an enemy. In line of sight, obviously, forcing the enemy to reposition. Where? Reposition where? If I could choose where the enemy repositions, fuck yeah, I'm super on board. If the enemy repositions into another cover, then it sucks. It, it honestly sucks. So, I just don't know that. And how am I supposed to make a decision about it? If it's... It's a completely useless ability, then yeah, the other one is easily better. But I'm just gonna pick it up. It's probably gonna be more fun. Okay. I mean, we don't even know what he's gonna get later, but let's see what he has. Zephyr attacks any enemy that enters or attacks from melee range. Um, that's probably not gonna happen. I mean, it might happen, but... What usually happens is that he runs into melee range of someone, punches them in the face, they laugh in his face for dealing no damage, and they shoot him in the face as well. So that's kind of how it goes. And even if he uses a flashbang grenade that they maybe like, whatever, whatever that disarms their weapons, and they usually just pull out the pistol. 
Melee attacks that would deal lethal damage will instead render enemies unconscious. Melee attacks do one damage. Replaces subdue. Yes! Fuck yes! Hell yes! I think I prefer that. So instead of dealing 4 to 5 damage, we will deal 5 to 6. And it's also subdue. Which basically doesn't matter because we got this guy. Uh, and it's very easy to get subdues anyway. But this actually makes him on par almost with a shotgun user. He still sucks. He still sucks. But this makes him less terrible. I mean that that's that's basically it. Like oh my god. This should be this should be baseline. I don't know why this is not baseline. I mean for some reason they thought this guy is going to be awesome or maybe a joke. <laughs> I don't know why I picked him. But I kind of like that I did despite hating him because this is not something I ever play with usually. Okay, let's just go with pressure point. No, no, no. We definitely need pressure point. This is like not not a not a decision at all. Okay, this actually makes him quite a lot better. Okay, we're getting basic conditioning. Oh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we are doing that. Actually, I quite liked it when he was part of the team. We didn't take as much damage. <laughs> I was less concerned about someone going down. He was. He's really damn good. But I suppose he, this punchy guy is getting better too. And I do like the healer quite a lot. <clears throat> I, I would really like another addition to the team. I guess I guess uh, this blue blood is getting better. Uh, to possibly at, at, at one time be part of the team. Yeah. Super broke. What else we got? Uh, I'll just go on the city fucking map. And... Yeah, that's... that We can't do anything about. We have three situations. Do situation... Oh, this is just past time situations. So, 45 intel. Contact scavenger market. Or track alloy thieves. 35. Now, Illyrium, as we learned, is three times as valuable as intel. And intel is something we get on... Uh, just automatically. 20 permission? I'm not saying that's enough, necessarily. And it seems like, currently, it's meant to buy or upgrade field teams on the city map. Oh shit, what? 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, it seems like I may be ignoring one part of the game completely. So... We can add a field team. How the fuck does that work? So let's say we add a field team over here. A 15 credits income per... Every Friday. Oh, I probably shouldn't ignore this, because this is just how the game gives you income. <laughs> oh my god. I really shouldn't ignore this. 10 intel income every Friday. Actually, 10 Illyrium income every Friday. Holy shit. And I suppose this is just gonna lower. Oh my god. So, we don't wanna spend the intel. Okay, uh, a small disclaimer here, guys. I did do the tutorial, but like the first 10 to 15 minutes of it, then I got bored and <laughs> started playing on the hardest difficulty. It's okay guys, extra challenge. I know some of you might, might have been uh, annoyed by this, but it's fine. We don't need it. It was extra challenge. So, uh, we're gonna get that, but we're also gonna spend our intel. Uh, for some income. Why can I... How does this work? It, 
it's not a super significant. So basically every seven days, you get some income. Not super significant, but it, it is definitely relevant. I don't know how many days I've spent. Like, kind of like a week, or maybe a little bit longer than a week. So we didn't miss out on much. And to an extent, it actually was important that I, I've learned the value of uh, all the... Well, maybe I... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm more aware of the value of these uh, uh, resources. Five credits income, 40 credits bonus rewards on mission districts. That's actually probably more relevant. So you want to come to this mission. Five credits income, minus one unrest for completing district situations. Okay. So you actually do not get minus unrest for putting down field teams seemingly you just get a little bit of income so do i want to put uh, an illyrium field team over here in angler's point and upgrading it would be 80. 15 illyrium bonus rewards on mission districts i mean that probably would make more sense and I, I cannot... Oh, it would be replaced. Oh, crap. And I would have to pay full price for it. I don't think so. The stacks. Oh, what? It would cost 65 to go for a technology one here? It's because I already have a technology one, right? Hmm... I still think the technology one is probably the best. And I probably want to go for one finance one. Wait. We, you Do we know what day it is? <laughs> like. It says every Friday, right? Fuck me. What day it is? It's. It's March 7th. <laughs> God damn it. Do I need to look it up? Whatever. Uh, so we have that. It's technology rank 1. We might want to put down another technology. And it would actually make sense. If you have the extra intel. Just to actually go rank 2 already. Uh, yeah. Illyrium income. And 15 Illyrium. If we go on a mission. On this district. District. That's pretty good. So every time this district comes up, we're just like, yeah, I mean, I, I mean I'm fully on board. And this actually is even more relevant if you go for finance. So then we get 40. I mean, that seems to be worth it. Security? I don't know. I mean, we want to go for that as well, but we shall see. Okay, what do we do? It seems like at this point, I cannot... Not really upgrade uh, Angler's Point. So we might want to just uh, put down a field team over here. Maybe it's going to be technology as well. And we're going to have so double tech and we're going to have uh, a money field team in uh, the fringe and that's it so it's kind of like how reuses field team in every district Re requires one or more field teams at rank 3 requires four or more total field teams okay So cooldown of four, we reduce a district's unrest by one. I mean, it's a good thing that I actually learned about it. So this is tier four. And we want to go for one more district, for sure. And the game encourages you to go at least for four. Then you can freeze a district unrest. Then you get the next... 
improvement for going for rank 3. And of course the next improvement for getting a district in every uh, sector. A field team in every district. It was good to know about this. <laughs> uh, we do have enough Illyrium. And uh, yeah. But the next mission is actually gonna be super easy. We just uh, take 35 Illyrium. And I definitely have a lot of Illyrium right now. But this just means I can... <laughs> I can slack off with Illyrium more in the future. Because when I... When I when I have a guy at home just working to get get currency, uh, I can show this. Uh, you get twenty five credits per day, and you get twenty intel per day, but you only get six point six Illyrium per day. So when I can actually afford to do that, it will be a lot more worth it. That I have some Illyrium and I can just get uh, money and intel instead. So we're gonna get Illyrium. Okay, basic conditioning is complete. And he's idle the now. Protest of the Starport's closure grew contentious as several so Blue Blood cannot do a da damn thing here. He doesn't really want to stay at home right now. These people share the beliefs of those who killed Mayor Nightingale. They seek to provoke us. Well, the city you might want to send in blue blood. spokesperson from Earth above all insisted otherwise. Alien pilgrimage? They want access Okay, it's going to be one turn until we get the port. armor. Of course we're here to say otherwise. We'll keep you informed of any developments. I mean, this guy. This guy could really use some heals. I mean, uh, just extra health. Where is he? Verge? Verge could really use the plus two HP. I know he's on APC duty, but uh, he just fucks off and does something else. And that's okay. I could use some money. He gets the enhanced armor. That's fine. And it's Saturday. So I actually bought the thing on, on Friday. Current income is 15 and, and 20. Yeah, that's not the best. So we actually have missions here. Uh, 30 Illyrium. Yeah, we definitely need to have another uh, field team down. Wait. Defend the compromised server? Two days toward Operation Reveal. Do I want that though? So that means this brings up the main mission. Bomb threat. I got 60 credits or 30 Illyrium. Okay. This seems okay. Oh no, maybe I should go for some credits here. Because I do have a lot of Illyrium. We can slack off a little bit with that. 60 creds. Plus 2 days toward Operation Reveal. Oh no! That's that's actually amazing, right? So, instead of uh, coming in 4 days, it's gonna be 6 days. The only problem is that it's gonna push 2 districts into 5s. No, no, this is, this is awesome. Defend the compromised server. Okay, let's do that. Wait, what are we doing here? Oh, that, this is happening. Why are you showing this to me? What? What do you mean remove from duty? Oh, you will lose all progress and receive no refund. Are you sh wish to proceed? Okay, well, at least we know about that. No, 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 he's gonna stay there and do that. And we're just gonna do the mission that's gonna slow down the main mission, right? Send APC. Uh, we have an OK squad. Actually, do we have an OK squad? Uh, we have to, first of all, make items available again. We use uh, shooting at a target with this upgrade applies holo targeting, allies gain 
uh, 15 aim bonus when firing at the target affected by hollow targeting. I think this also applies to him because he shoots twice per round. Okay, we can upgrade the pistol twice. That's pretty nice. Uh, flashbang grenade. What else we got? I think that's it. Let's launch. I don't have anything else. Wish I did. <laughs> no, no, you're good. Let's go! Vroom, vroom! Will he become? <laughs> will the guy? Will, will, will he truly become One Punch Great Man? Phoenix is will attempting be, to will wipe be that the server in the city story. archives. <laughs> find oh my out fucking god. They're trying to erase. Maybe he would just one shot everybody. Secure entrance. There are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. Hard to hit. Enemies deal one less damage during the breach. But only during the breach. I mean, this seems pretty fucking good. Oh. Oh, you can get in, right? Mm -hmm. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's go it like that. No, no, no. Not like that. Like that. Wait, do I have to have her go first? Oh man. Okay, let's go like that. It's go time. Oh shit. So we got a faceless. We got a surprise faceless, another surprise faceless, a dominator, and a, a paladin. Okay. Uh, there is nothing we can insta kill. Although these faceless guys certainly take a, a beating. We should definitely prioritize. If you are killing faceless, we should kill the faceless in one round because they regenerate. So I'm gonna shoot at that faceless. Oh, that's only three damage. He only deals three to four damage with the pistol. That is a little annoying. I was kinda I'm kinda hoping someone deals more damage to that. Oh crit. Critical of four. Four to six. Yeah, let's hit at the hit the other faceless. Come on! These suckers need to go down. Oh no. You can't even go on the faceless? Holo targeted? That's a pretty fearless advance right there. Oh my god, you gotta be a fucking badass to go for <laughs> Mano a mano faceless fights. That's the server. I stop them from wiping its data. Yeah, I mean, at this point, if I send away, uh, the gremlin, we just lose twenty defense. So, sending away the gremlin at this point doesn't really make sense. But I might want to reposition still. Like, we're gonna have a pretty good... The Dominator will act soon. Oh, actually killing the adder would be pretty sweet. There's a chance of doing that, but... The chance is not high. I could really use one more damage. What the hell is this? The game just puts me in a very tough situation. Okay, we're gonna team up with Zephyr. <laughs> I would love to kill the snake. 
We're just so damn exposed. I mean, this is not how I would <laughs> start to fight. This is terrible. Okay, the the faceless two faceless are dead. Let's get closer Into the and shoot this dominator. I'm kind of hoping uh, Zephyr comes in and punches him in the face. Oh, actually, going for some uh, ceasefire grenades would be awesome. Uh, not on my team, though. So this faceless is somewhat far away. A big concern, but not right now. Oh, killing the adder would be awesome as well. Do I want to kill the Dominator instead? Okay, we're just gonna grenade on the adder. Demolishing. Wait, we cannot use the grenade anymore? Fuck. Okay, let's just be a tank. No! He's weak. Dead eye. So you can kill the snake, four to six. That's nice, but... Oh yeah, that would be better. Actually, what I would prefer is that you just double shoot the muton. Wait, does that work? It's risky, because four is the maximum damage we can deal. Okay, let's just do... Wait, how does this work? Oh yeah, it's it says it's 15% lower and that's that's about correct. Now we're gonna take that shot. What is this? Flashbang grenade. Okay, let's just flash that guy. Catch! The paladin. I like the flash. Could do a bunch of things. That's apparently a free action. Okay, we did I the Legionnaire. That's good. Actually, we can run in. This is also not guaranteed. Wait. Okay, we, we take advantage of our own uh, hollow targeting thingy. That's good. So, it's really good on him. Subdue is only a 2 to 3, so that's not good enough. Yeah, I mean, we gotta take the chance of the Legion there. Heads up! I was still okay. We managed to kill one guy in one turn. Uh, the Faceless is troublesome. The Paladin is troublesome. 4 to 6. Uh, we can kill the other, but it's not a concern right now. Uh, let's just go close to the Paladin. I can flush out somebody. But that's... That's actually not useful right now. I just want to get close. I hope it's a crit. Hope it's a high crit. Oh no. It's going down. Miss! Wow, managed to kill the snake. Okay, do we heal? Oh, two rounds until the data is wiped? That means... I mean, it does seem like whenever we trigger that phase, then more people show up. So it's probably wise that I, I just ignore that. Um, <laughs> oh, look at that. He actually does something. I mean, one damage just matters so much. It goes from never killing anybody to actually sometimes killing people. I mean, that's so, so important. 
I don't really want to pick it up right now. Let's do it next turn. No, no, no. You just... Can you just pass? Fuck. You can't pass, right? I shouldn't have been there. Uh... Oh, can we just capture him? Hostile is down and out. Come on. Nice! Easy mission! Super easy! Fuck yeah. <laughs> this is it. We only managed to capture four targets. Damn. Do we get intel? I could use some intel. We're back home! But it was definitely the right mission choice. We managed to push the main mission uh, by two days. And we completed the enhanced armor. Would you look at that? Over a dozen were okay. today before Only problem is that two restricts are dead. Uh, I mean, red now. The Not dead. Not yet. The Improved field of teams. Speak their minds. We oh, what? War for that Our field for teams can do more than protests. keep the peace. We can Artisan equip them Garva to be the more versatile. Issued a statement. Oh, we what? Your rules, and yet only you actually have to research today. it just to be Free able to upgrade them? Us. We will protect ourselves. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. I mean, mastercrafted armor. Okay, that's interesting proposition, but I don't think it matters right now unless I can actually afford the armor. Yeah, I need 200 bucks yesterday. We need 200 bucks. Everyone gets 2 HP. Fuck yeah. Everyone gets 1 utility item slots. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> An android. I mean, we need bucks, okay? We definitely need some bucks. I mean, whatever. Screw that. I mean, we need this. Okay. But it kind of shows that we can research, but research is a little pointless unless we can actually buy the stuff. Yeah, I don't know about that. What kind of weapons do I prefer using? I mean, we have one shotgun here. We have at least two with pistols. Assault rifles are pretty damn common. I mean, it's gonna be three turns. Should I have a guy for this still? How is it gonna go? Is it gonna be like one wasted turn? I think it's gonna be one wasted turn. Oh no, actually it's three turn with a guy in it. Okay. Oh man, I need someone here ga gaining some credits. I it really do. Okay, uh, I mean, I can't take out someone from there. I mean, I'm super broke. I mean, at this point, researching faster is not as important uh, as... Actually getting some money. <laughs> So, let's just get some money, okay? Someone does that. I mean, I would like to just get some intel as well. I mean, I would love to have that. I suppose the, the dream would be that I end up having... I mean, do, do I even care about these upgrades that much? I mean, I might just, just end up putting in two guys here who just get the intel and the credits all the time. I mean, this, this is probably worth it. I mean, I might just do this. Upgrading the team is not as important. And the just getting resources. Okay, what we got here? Oh, a good question for another time. Next time. So, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.